what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh, this is gonna be a semi review of my crater ferry and we'll talk about this dumb coronavirus COVID-19 as they're calling it and yeah man it's uh, definitely had an impact on my life um, we're extremely dead at work uh, three days into the to the week here well four days in it's Thursday now you'll probably see this video on Friday but but yeah um, it's, it's it's been kind of steady like I've been doing okay um, hopefully they don't shut us down because yeah you know really really need a paycheck to, to buy food and stuff um, <laughs> I keep we keep our bills low for a reason but yeah we keep our bills kind of low so you know that way we're not living paycheck to paycheck I guess uh, you know we do have some expendable income but yeah it's gone to you know buying food and kind of saving it so but yeah man um i'm pretty sure it's it's nationwide it's pretty affected everybody um hopefully hopefully none of you guys got hit too hard i know um here in nashville them shutting down the bars man it it really killed uh, a big part of this economy because that's you know tourism is huge here in nashville so but yeah, hopefully, hopefully a couple weeks, man, a month maybe, and this crap will go away, and everybody will stop panicking and buying toilet paper and all that good stuff. So um, hopefully we can make it through. Um, you know, life does go on, man. There's there's people out here on the roads. The roads are busy. The interstates are busy. There are people doing things, buying things, and and working. So, you know, life will go on. It has to shut down. Uh, we had a little get together at the garage last night to kind of maybe bring back some, so, a little bit of that normal feeling. Uh, it was it was really nice. It was really nice because we, you know, we've been going to our little favorite bar here in town for about six years straight on Wednesday Wednesdays so to, to to miss one of those is kind of a kind of a weird feeling you know you feel like something's off you don't know what day it is you know and all that good stuff but but yeah other than that we're we're going straight to the bike here I've been, I've been getting a ton of questions on this crater what's up what's up dude but uh, a ton of questions on this crater and let me just start with the biggest one first since since everybody goes there um, and it's like oh my god oh my god the buffering the buffering now okay most of the guys I'm assuming they have a crater they have a dyno and they complain about buffering have never sorry they're slamming on brakes for no apparent reason whatsoever but yeah, a lot of the guys that had the crater, have the crater, have used the crater, and the Dyna, have never had a bagger. So I would put the buffer in at 90, 95 miles an hour with this crater fairing, with the anti-buffering kit, I would put it on the level of a really small windshield on a street glide. It's about identical. Um, I don't know if this lip is helping or hurting, uh, one of the things I was going to try was was maybe to chop it later, but to me, it's not that bad. I haven't um, experienced anything crazy as far as, you know, shaking my helmet off my head or anything like that. Um, the last test I did on the interstate, I didn't even really buckle the helmet all the way, just kind of cinched it up. And and this is a pretty snug helmet, but not not too bad. And and and, and yeah, it's it's manageable. But what it what it is 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 now you're getting this wind from up in the bottom and you can probably see it in my beard it's pushing it up but yeah that's buffering is 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 completely livable on this fairing now you're gonna have a little bit with speeds over 90 miles an hour um, that's to be expected now i was thinking about I was thinking about in the future like maybe trying to uh do a little series on on how to uh solve it you know some tricks uh from what i've seen a lot of guys were putting it just a straight up different windshield without the flip in it and and that seems to be you know a lot of guys like that um i think maybe the flip is 
yeah you got the right idea dude <laughs> i think the flip is is making the air come up and then kind of flat hit you if that makes sense in the helmet so um but yeah totally manageable buffering and and somebody asked me a handful of guys in the last couple weeks have asked me that hang on let's pull into our little spot here but they've asked me about the rattling of the fairing now I'm, I'm gonna try to do one of these numbers and get close when installed correctly there is zero rattling um, and, and mind you if if you do have some rattling then something's probably loose um, you, you know nut and bolt hardware wise for because you shouldn't have any 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 vibrating whatsoever I just wanted to come to our little stunt spot here and see how the trailer situation was Look at this. Hey, a little couple baby small ones. I need to get out here this weekend to practice. But yeah, guys, the, the rattling issues, um, I'm assuming are going to be from improper insulation because I've not had an issue with it at all it's, it's pretty quiet so far um, I made sure this top bracket here it wasn't hitting the tree or anything that that could be another issue um, but yeah as far as noises goes squeaks and rattles and that and that kind of stuff um, follow follow it down with your ear we try to get try to pinpoint it and see if something's rubbing because a lot of the times uh, squeaks or or something's rubbing or or not tight enough. So Woo! I missed the Dyna man. I really, 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 really needed this. It's been a crazy couple of weeks, guys, here. So with the tornado and then right behind that with this with this dumb virus um, that hopefully it doesn't get any worse than this right here because if it does, it, it's going to look ugly. But I think the majority of it is just people panicking, man. People, um, you know, just losing it. So life is still going on around you guys <laughs> you guys that are sitting up at home and stuff um people are still doing stuff people are still working people are still in cars guys wanted to get this vlog out um hopefully you guys are doing all right um if if you need anything reach out to me I'll, I'll, I'll see if i can do my best i think as a as a whole we need to stay together as people don't let them separate us and support the small businesses because because they're taking it rough man um you know a lot of places like as soon as they did all this uh, got hit really hard man you know like went from a good business rate to no business at all overnight and you know the same way with some people's jobs so oh look at the wrap on this thing but yeah we'll uh we'll try to uh stay virus free here in nashville tennessee and keep pumping out videos uh i am gonna try to get out this weekend and work on them wheelies um ready to start pushing myself man I, I i need to get this tank vertical in my head and and work on uh being really smooth i, I saw some new dude on instagram i'll i'll put his tag up here maybe and uh yeah this dude is like super super smooth and it and it motivated me so 
just need to get back out there and practice like we always do and and it looks like we only got one weekend one weekend day to do it this weekend so i uh, appreciate the support guys go check out my boys at, at purpose built motorcycles support those small businesses use discounts code trip hp at checkout and we'll see you on the next one guys take it easy